group of running backs, you all seem to offer something different, and every time you guys touch the ball, something good happens. Um, well, it's an honor. I mean, uh, it's an honor to be in the league with those guys. I mean, Greg Cooper has been here for a great amount of time and does some great things right here. Damian Barry does some great things, and Lamar Miller does great things as well. I mean, it's just an honor to be a part. When do you find out? That it's your series. Are you just sitting there and you get a tap on the shoulder, or do you know like two series ahead of time? Um, Coach Wolf will have certain plays and certain things set up. I mean, uh, whenever Coach calls me, I just go. I mean, it's it's kind of like you never know. Everybody stay warm with like You never know when you're going to go. Hey, Mike, Pat Hill kind of been maybe the unsung hero for you guys. Can you just talk about him and what he's brought to the uh, running game? Uh, Pat does a great job. I mean, he gets on backers. He gets them out of the way. I mean, uh, I can't tell you just how great his job is. And me experiencing it last year, I really understand, you know, the role that he takes and the, the things that he do to get prepared for the game. Kind of an unglorious role, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, it is. It is. I mean, but but it's very, very much needed. Have you seen a guy have so much fun and just being a blocker and, and hitting people? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I never seen nobody like he love contact. I mean, he does a great job of what he do. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy for him. It don't make sense. Can you talk about Virginia Tech a little, the fact that they have a aggressive defense and a, a blitzing defense, and you guys need to maybe be the last line of defense in addition to running the ball this Saturday? I mean, um, Virginia Tech has a great defense that we're going to prepare, you know, to play them just like we prepare to play anybody else. Um, it's the most important game because it's the next one, and I can't wait to play. How thankful are you for your uh, – new and improved offensive line? Oh, I'm very thankful. I mean, they do, they do a great job, and, I mean, I can't complain one bit. I mean, all we need to do is get guys out of the way, and they do a great job of it. They've like, improved a lot recently. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they, I mean, they've been great since day one. I mean, they're just getting better and smarter and stronger. So, I mean, this was this was going to happen anyway. Mike, you talked about, you know, the guys you're playing with now, but, you know, obviously Damon Coop probably be out of here. So, but you look behind you guys, there's even younger guys that are mm -hmm. already come in, so it seems like there's going to be a fleet of running backs for yeah. a couple of years to come here. Yeah, I mean, Coach Shannon does a great job of uh, getting guys in and getting guys to understand what we're trying to do here. I mean, and I can't wait. I mean, I'm going to take care of this year, get ready for next year, and the years come ahead. Can you talk about the importance of this game? It's obvious, but Miami, Virginia Tech, and you still still have things you're hoping to get here. Oh, uh, the game is very important. I mean, we're going to win today in practice. We're going to win. We're going to win Wednesday. We're going to win Thursday. We're going to prepare ourselves every day to get ready for Saturday. Um, right now, I'm just worried about practice today, and then when I get to the game, worry about that. Your memories from last year? Uh, it's it's a memory I don't even want to think about. I mean, it's a bad taste in my mouth, and I can't wait to play. The weather was. Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, not really. It was cold, mixture of rain. I mean, it was just different, you know. I mean, but that's all in the game of football. What's Stephen like in the huddle, and what what have you noticed in him? And his growth from coming in in relief against Virginia to the end of last week's game. Um, Stephen's very calm. I mean, he does what he have to do. He studies his film. He, uh, he in the huddle. He, he's. I mean, his demeanor is like up tempo. You know, he come on guys, let's go. He talks to people on the sideline. You know, he he's just a great quarterback, and he doesn't. He's doing a great job replacing Jacory. Have you guys? What do you say to Jacory when you see him? What, what are you all doing to him? Uh, the same thing. I mean, Jacory still, you know, around the locker room choking. I mean, messing with guys. You know, I mean, it's nothing different. What do you, what do you, is there anything specific you all are saying to him to try to keep his, his confidence? Uh, no, I mean, Ja'Cory doesn't need any help with his confidence. I mean, his confidence is up there anyway. He's, he's just fine. Do you feel bad for him? Uh, no, I mean, he's he's a football player. He has an unfortunate injury. I mean, and I lead up to Coach Shannon to talk to him about that, but no, I don't feel bad for him at all. How much has he done physically with you guys? Like, um, he, 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 um, does stuff every now and then. You know, I just, I just don't even worry about it. You know, I just... Does that like I don't see it and go about my business? Mike, what's Morris like in the uh, huddle? Is he quiet, serious? Does he kid around ever? Uh, you know, he's just like uh, he coming in and gets a job done. I mean, he kid on the sideline a little bit, but that's about it. I mean, I really don't, I really don't see any like. I mean, he just Morris. I mean, I can't really explain it. You guys had 46 rushes, I think, last week and almost 300 yards. When you're seeing an offense that's heavy run like that, that's got to get all you guys pumped up about that. Yeah, it does. I mean, but last week's last week, and we'll try to do better this week. Mike, can you describe the strengths of each of the four of you, Damian, Lamar, Greg, um, yourself? Damian's a hard runner. I mean, I catch the ball out of backfield and do different things on versatile. Greg is a speed guy, just like Lamar is a speed guy. I mean, both of them are very fast, and uh, it kind of sums it up. You don't exactly look slow when you, you got the ball. And yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, I don't actually look slow, but compared to my brother, I mean, he, he – I mean, conditioning. I mean, if we run 10 hundreds, I, I beat him. But if we run one, he'll beat me. Who's this? Uh, Lamar. Oh, okay. Mike, do you, do you ever kind of wonder why, why we run the ball more? 
Uh, no, nah, I mean, whatever Coach Whipple calls, I just go out and execute. I mean, I don't worry about how many times I throw the ball, how many times I run, I just go out and execute the plays. Have you been in his ear a little bit, though? Nah, a couple of weeks? nah, I'm, I'm over player that, you know, just get my playbook and does what I have to do. I really don't say nothing to the coaches. I just let them do their job and I do mine.